Hello, gorgeous Leos. This is Debs and this is your reading for April 2024. Leo, thank you guys for being here. It's amazing to be with you. Now, Leo, in meditation, I simply saw someone sitting on the edge of their couch thinking to themselves, OK, well, that's it then. It's obviously not going to happen. It's obviously not going to work out. I may as well accept defeat. An hour later, I saw this person wandering around their living room with a cup of coffee and they were saying to themselves, no, it is going to happen. I just need to get more positive. There must be a way that I can do this. Their energy had completely changed. And I heard the words SOS. So Leo, are you sending out a distress signal to the divine? I really want this. There's got to be a way that I can achieve this. You may be manifesting Leo's success. It may well be. So guys, let's get into this and see what comes through. The deck that I'm using is the Sanctus Concordia. Had to think then. If you want a private reading, I'm still running the spring promo. 30% off the 30 minute love reading if you're interested. If you want to join the channel, the link is there too. And of course, all the decks I use. All right, Leo. Oh, by the way, um, I haven't mentioned this on other videos, but I've just come across a wonderful reader called Divine Atlas Tarot. Divine Atlas Tarot. Check her out. She's really good. And she doesn't have that many subscribers. And I, I feel as if she deserves a lot more. Um, so check her out. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know her, but um, I really love the work that she does. She's highly intelligent um, and has a really interesting way of reading cards. I just thought I'd mention it. All right. So getting into your reading, Leo. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the reading for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. April 2024. Yeah, Leo, you've, you've changed your mindset. I think initially there may have been a bit of bad news. It could, oh, come on cards, it could have affected your confidence in this. It could have made you feel a bit down. Nine of Swords. Yeah. Leo, you've had a blow of some kind, a disappointment, a bit of a sharp wake up call that caused you to take a massive step back. Oh my goodness, I thought this was going to be possible. Maybe now it's not going to be. You may have had a few sleepless nights, Leo. It's as if somebody was about to give you a winning lottery ticket, right? And then they turned around and said, oh, I'm sorry, I've lost it. And this is you looking at this person in disbelief. Um, I spent months trying to decide what I was going to do with that money and you've just lost it. It's that sort of energy, Leo. Oh, my goodness. Guys, you could have been turned down for a loan. It could be something transpired, Leo, which caused you to feel you were never going to be able to do this. It did affect your optimism, Leo, because you're very optimistic. It did affect your optimism for quite a while. So you've had the bad news. You may be sitting on this bad news for a few weeks. But I think you're absolutely determined to do this. <laughs> Leo. In true Leo style, right? <laughs> Three of Pentacles. Leo, it could be that this thing takes finances. And this is you very disappointed. I needed money to do this. And now I'm sort of juggling three pentacles. What am I going to do? You're in your head. You may be trying to find a way around this. Could I work in partnership with someone? Could I potentially bring in another stream of revenue somehow? You're absolutely determined not to let this hope go. It's as if this has been what I wanted to do for X amount of time. I have thought about this. I have dreamed about this. I planned for this. There is no way I'm going to accept defeat. 
No way, Leo. You've made a pact with yourself that you are going to do everything you can to make this work. In the past, Leo, the devil, you may have been a bit obsessed with this. And then we have the tower. Oh my gosh, no. Oh my gosh, no. It could be, Leo, that if you wanted to do something, the divine may have sort of brought you down to earth with a bump. Because you might have been sat in a little bit of overindulgence in the past. And the divine wanted you to learn a lesson. Tower. But what you're thinking about now is I'm not going to let this defeat me. Absolutely no way. A powerful energy coming through for you, Leo. What you're thinking about is I just have to think a bit differently. Two of Wands. I just have to assess the situation and look at things in a different way. I'm sure this is achievable still. Yes, it may not be ideal, it may not be perfect, but I'm sure that there's a way around this. So, Leo, in the immediate future, yeah, three of wands. You're resolute in your desire to push forward. I'm not going to sit here feeling sad about this. I'm not going to feel down about this. I'm still going to go for this. It's a risk. I don't know if it's going to work out. It may be previously, Leo, you were sitting there thinking, yeah, 85%, I've got it in the bag, right? This is mine. What you're thinking about now is, well, huh, it's kind of gone down to 20%, but I'm still going to do everything I can to make this happen for me. Three wands. Still waiting for your ships to come in, embracing change. I'm not sitting here feeling miserable about this. I'm going to get off my backside and make this happen. Yes, Leo. Wow. I'm hearing the divine is with you all the way. The divine is with you. Very interesting. Michael showing me somebody building a wall. I'm hearing brick by brick. Brick by brick, my friend. You're going to have to put in the work, Leo. I'm hearing no slacking, no sitting in fantasy land. No one's going to hand you this on a silver platter. You know that. It's not going to be easy, but it's going to make the victory even sweeter. Because there's no one and nothing, Leo, that's going to cause you to accept defeat. No way. In your fears, Leo, ten of swords, yeah. For some of you, you're fearing that you're going to have to walk away from this. It's not going to work out. You are sat in a bit of fear, Leo, that this is now unrealistic, is what I'm hearing. But the divine is asking you to keep the faith, to put your thinking cap on and to know, Leo, the divine has your back. The divine has heard your SOS call. This could have been something you've been working on for a very long time. It could even have been a childhood dream. This is you so close. And then it's as if everything was erased. It's like snakes and ladders, Leo. This is you almost winning. And then you hit that big snake and go all the way down the bottom of the board. And this is you sat there thinking, oh, I can't believe it. But don't worry. I feel you are going to be co-creating with the divine. In the environment, Leo, page of pentacles. Leo, somebody may be wanting to talk to you about a contract. Somebody may be giving you a gift. It could even be a small amount of money. 
I feel someone, Leo, is going to travel to see you to sort of let you know that you're not on your own in this. Maybe I could help you. Maybe I could just lift your spirits a little bit, Leo. Yeah. Leo, in your hopes, Ace of Pentacles. Okay, beautiful. Could mean so many things to so many of you. But that may relate to your stability. It could also relate to a relationship. The outcome, Leo, <laughs> is victory and success. Six of Wands. Leo, already, I feel as if the energy is changing in this reading. I'm hearing a round of applause in my head, which is strange. I feel as if you've got a lot of angelic support and guidance around you. Angels, archangels, the ascended masters, your own guardian angel, maybe ancestors who have passed. They all want you to achieve this because whatever this is for you, Leo, this is something that you have dreamed of. You've so wanted this. It may have just been circumstances that caused you to feel very down about this, caused you to feel that you could never achieve this. But what they're saying is, if you co-create with spirit, you keep positive, you keep striving forward, you keep searching for that way around the obstacles, you will be successful. You will be able to manifest this. So don't give up hope, Leo. This is a message from the divine and the divine is saying, don't give up. That's the biggest message coming through. Clarification for you guys. Yeah, ten of wands. Whatever you found out, it sort of flattened you. It made you upset. You may be wandering around in a daze thinking, I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I'm hearing that. Two of Swords. So whatever this truth was for you, Leo, what you told yourself was, OK, well, it's something I'm going to have to let go of now. It's not achievable. There's no way I can do this. Because in that instant, you could not see a way around this. This was a massive disappointment. Whoever this person is, Leo, Four of Swords. They pull back to do some thinking. I'm hearing on your behalf. Temperance. And this is someone who I feel is sat in a very calm energy. Wanting you to know that you are not on your own. You may have told this person what happened. And I think they've been trying to figure out a way of helping you. Yeah. Oh, guys. Underneath the deck, yeah. Eight of Wands. So, Leo, messages came in or you found out a piece of information which might have come in online. It could be a document, it could have been an email. Whatever you found out here or whatever you were told, it caused you to sit feeling very unhappy, realising that this was sort of the end. I have to let this go. The moon. Fearful that this really was the end. And this was very difficult for you to come to terms with Leo because there were a lot of emotions wrapped up in this. So my gorgeous Leos, I think the biggest message from the divine is don't give up hope. They're behind you 100%, okay? So let's move into this reading and find out how you're going to make this happen, okay? 
So Archangel Michael, why is Leo sat in the Nine of Swords and the Three of Pentacles? Leo. Yeah, death card. There could have been a situation here with a Scorpio for some of you. We've also got Sagittarian energy and Cancerian energy and potentially Capricorn. But I think, Leo, this is about you and something that you have wished for. With the energy of the death card, your initial reaction to this bad news was, OK, it's done. It's done. But what you're thinking about now is, no, you're getting up, you're brushing yourself off and you're deciding to forge forward. You're not going to give up, Leo. Whatever this is, is way too important for you to just let it go. Way too important, Leo, to let it go. Yeah, strength card. You will need a lot of courage and determination to push through, push on. It may be your confidence took a bit of a knock, but you're very strong, Leo. And once you've set your mind to something, not many people can sway you. Not many people can change your mind. Five of Wands. Internal conflict. Do I really have what it takes to fight for this? Seven of Pentacles. You might have been looking at the past. You might have been looking at your finances. You're not going to give up on this, Leo. It's way too important for you. Ace of Wands. Yeah. You've decided... To think outside the box. You've decided to take charge of this and to do whatever you can to make this happen. I'm hearing even if you need to compromise, even if it's not going to be exactly what you wanted, you're still going to go for it. You're strong in the belief that you can achieve this. So Leo, in the past, the devil... Knight of Swords. Leo, somebody may have warned you in the past that this might not be possible. I think your reaction to that was, I don't care, I'm still going to try. <laughs> I'm still going to try. Two of Pentacles. So this is you, Leo, rolling up your sleeves. You could have been working two jobs to bring in money. Maybe this was something that you wanted that took finances. This is also you thinking to yourself, I'm telling this person that I'm going to do this, but oh my goodness, is this a good idea? If you were honest with yourself, Leo, there was a part of you in the past that thought, I don't know, am I going to get myself into trouble here? Am I going to get myself into difficulties but you were adamant in telling whoever this was in the past that it would be fine. Yeah, it's, it's going to work out. Yeah, it's going to work out. Very determined. The Hermit. You went deep into introspection, Leo, in the past. Thinking about the life that you would led up until this point of time thinking about the future, doing a lot of soul searching. For some of you, you may have spoken to a Virgo. After that time, Leo, you actually had to face the tower and it was not easy. And it left you feeling with the Four of Cups that whatever this was, it was simply out of reach. OK, I might have to walk away from this. I might have to let this go. But I feel, Leo, the pain that you felt in considering releasing this dream, this hope, caused you so much pain and so much anxiety that you told yourself that you were going to do everything you possibly could 
to achieve this. I'm still going to go for this. I know it's crazy. People are telling me it's never going to work out, but I'm going to do it, right? You just couldn't bear to let it go. But the tower hit and there was a point where you felt that's it then. So my beautiful Leos, two of wands, you're hanging on to this. You're standing at crossroads, trying to figure out how you're going to achieve this, how you're going to move forward. You may be looking at options. You may be looking at removing some obstacles. Four of pentacles. It may be your finances are a little bit rocky, but you're determined not to let go of this. You're holding on to this. And you're determined to move forward. Chariot. Yeah. The High Priestess. So Leo, this is your energy. You may have Pisces or Cancerian in your chart, Rising Moon or Venus. The High Priestess doesn't speak. You're not talking to a lot of people about this, Leo. You may be keeping a lot to yourself. But you're using your intuition and you're realising that if you play your cards right, if you stay positive, if you're willing to compromise, if you can be flexible, then this is possible. It is possible. Very strong energy coming from you, Leo. And I feel the divine has your back. The divine has your back. They know how important this is for you, Leo. And I feel they're going to allow this to happen for you. So, Leo, in the immediate future, Three of Wands and the Page of Pentacles. Leo, you are still manifesting your dream, your wish. You're looking out across the horizon and you're thinking, I will do this. I will do this. You're ready to embrace change, Leo. And you're keeping that optimism in your heart. The person that you're communicating with, I feel, understands how important this is to you. This is someone who wants this for you. They could be turning up with some good news of sorts. It could be a helping hand financially. They may want to talk to you about a contract. They're right behind you, Leo. They're right behind you. So Archangel Michael, do we have timing, please, for my lovely Leos? Do we have timing? Thank you, Michael. May, OK. Beginning of May. So the beginning of May, Leo, is going to herald the start of you delving into what you can do to make this happen. You may be going on a journey. You may be taking several trips. You're looking at removing some obstacles and you're keeping your feet on the ground. You could be doing some calculations of sorts. You could be seeking advice and guidance from those that are knowledgeable about this and you're not giving up. So let's have a look and see who was sat in the Page of Pentacles. Eight of Swords. This is someone, Leo, that you may have spoken to in confidence. This person could even be a family member. This is someone who's been thinking for you. How can I help Leo achieve this? I know how important it is for Leo that this is made possible. Leo. This person could even be a group of people, could be three people, up to three. What they're going to say to you is, this is absolutely possible. And we don't want you to feel down about this. We don't want you to feel sad. We don't want you to feel as if you have to walk away from something that you've wanted for so long. Yes, magician. Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. What they're saying is you can manifest this. So Leo, you've moved yourself from a place of feeling, I have to let this go, 
to you being determined to fight for this. I'm going to do this. It's going to happen. I'm not going to give up. And this is a group of people or someone coming in to say, absolutely, we totally agree. We're going to help you do this. Beautiful. What else is this personal people saying? Okay, seven of cups. They may say to you, Leo, you might need to look at other options to do this. They may be saying, Leo, you might need to think outside the box. They may be saying you might need to lower your expectations. You may not be able to achieve exactly what you wanted in the past, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to feel that sense of fulfillment because you are going to be able to sit in victory and success. Whoever this is, is giving you a boost, Leo. Yeah. And with the Knight of Cups, this is a group of people or a person who loves you saying to you that they're going to support you the whole way. justice. Leo, they are determined to help you in this because they believe that it's going to bring much needed balance to your life. Yes. Knight of Pentacles. And they are absolutely committed to working with you on this. They could be talking to you about finances. They may even turn up with a gift. It could be a gift. It could be a loan. It could be it could be this person says to you, Leo, we can afford to help you financially. We don't want you to repay us, that sort of thing. What's your energy, Leo? This is such a beautiful, uplifting energy I'm feeling here. Yeah, Page of Cups. I think you may feel emotional, Leo. You're going to say thank you. I so appreciate your support, your guidance, your help. Thanking them for helping you stay optimistic and positive. Nine of Pentacles. You're determined to do this by yourself, Leo. You may be reticent to take someone's help if it's financial. But you may consider this if this is something that takes money because you may need it. You'd love to be able to turn around and say, keep your money. OK, but Leo, this is you lowering your pride and this is you accepting their help graciously and with thanks. Yes, Leo. Page of Wands. You're going to be... Telling whoever this is that you've got a few bright ideas up your sleeve. I could do this. I could do that. If I move that around, if I remove that obstacle, I could still do this. You're showing your determination to succeed. And again, they're right behind you, Leo. Ace of Swords. What is most important here, Leo, is that you may have done your research, you may have done the groundwork, you have all the facts in front of you, and you know with this knowledge you are able to detach from a cycle that's been very challenging. You're going for gold, Leo. You're moving forward and you are getting out of a cycle that's been very, very difficult. You're moving into this new situation. Queen of Wands. Could be connecting with a masculine or a feminine, but the Queen of Wands takes charge, takes action. If you're a masculine Leo, you're sitting in your Queen of Wands energy. You're very emotional about this. If you're a feminine Leo, this is simply you. What is the energy between these two? Judgment. Yes. Both of you realise that this decision is going to shift you in a new direction, total new direction. This is going to enable you to step forward and progress in some way. It's crucially important. So this isn't just a dream, Leo. 
This is something that's going to help you lift yourself up and something that you're going to look back on in years to come feeling so glad that you didn't give up on this. And you know it. You know it. Let's have a look at your hopes, Leo. Ace of Pentacles. King of Swords. You may be hoping to talk to an advisor. It could be about legalities. It could be about a contract. It could be about facts and information. This is you, Leo, getting everything lined up. So when you're ready to go for this, there are going to be no problems, no obstacles, no delays. It's going to be a very smooth transition. Again, Leo, I feel up until this point of time, you would have worked very, very hard to ensure that nothing would prevent you from being successful. OK, Emperor. You're hoping to take charge. You're hoping maybe, Leo, to talk to the head of a company. It's as if you're telling yourself, if I look back, if I falter, if I delay, if I let my fears take over, it will be a disaster. So I'm looking ahead. I'm not looking back. The Six of Wands, Leo, is the final card. Victory and success. For many of you, you are going to achieve this. There's going to be celebration. I also feel as if the divine is going to be celebrating with you. Because you would not have given up your dream. You wouldn't have given up on this. And you would have coped with stress, fear, a lot of burden. You would have compromised. You would have had to have been flexible to make this work. Six of Pentacles. There may be a discussion here about money. It might be you have to pay a certain amount of money, Leo. It might be the first step in achieving this. The star. But Leo, this is you realising that your dream is in sight. It's as if you followed the North Star, you knew that you wanted this, and this is the divine saying, OK, we're going to make this happen. We've seen how hard you've worked. We've seen how brave you've been in coping with the obstacles. So we're going to allow this. The Five of Pentacles. There may be... A moment where you think to yourself, oh my goodness, can I really do this? Because this might have been, Leo, when you've just released an amount of money. It could be a down payment. It could be transferring money to someone. And this is you thinking, wow, uh, it's really going ahead. Am I doing the right thing? But I think everything inside you, Leo, is going to be saying yes. The momentum's building and you may literally... Be going on adrenaline at this point of time. You're so fired up about this, you're just letting it take over. This is not the time, Leo, for you to back out. You've put too much into this to back out at this point. But just so that you guys know, there may come a point of time where you sit there and think, am I really doing the right thing? Yes, I think, Leo, you know you are. The Hierophant. You may be communicating with somebody who's head of a company or you could be having to follow a process step by step. And with the Eight of Pentacles, Leo, for some of you, you're going to be doing this as you keep building on your stability. So whatever this is for you, you're going to be having to cope with work as well as whatever this is. Nine of Wands. It's to be expected that you're going to feel quite drained. 
you're going to have a lot to cope with. You may be feeling a bit stressed. You may be juggling a lot in your life. But you know this is worth it, is what I'm hearing. This is worth it. <laughs> Leo, the fool. And then you are literally going to just jump into it. Okay, this is go time. I'm all fired up. This is you ringing someone and saying, okay, let's do it. Let's finally close this out because I'm ready. This could be you getting a phone call from someone who's going to be giving you some really good news. It was a bit of a risk. You still don't know what's going to happen in the future, but this is you super excited, Leo, because you would have achieved this. A long-awaited dream. All right. Do we have any final cards for Leo? Wow. The Wheel of Destiny. You are finally moving forward onto a new path. This was meant for you, Leo. This change was meant to happen. And I feel the divine all along, Leo, was supporting you in this. Uplifting your energy so you didn't give up. This is so beautiful. Yeah. And we end with the sun. A perfect card to end your reading. This is you looking back, realising that it had all been worth it. This is celebration. This is forward movement. This is you, Leo, pouring a celebratory glass of champagne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What a beautiful reading, Leo. And you would have deserved this. So, let me know in the comments if this is your story. I'm leaving it there. Take care of yourselves. Sending love and light your way. And many blessings. Bye, Leo.